students at home, my name is Phoebe Sukayayi, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Education, Kaduna State. Welcome to our program, radio television program, e-learning. During this period of staying at home because of Corona virus, it is expected that we will we'll be able to reach out to you so that we'll be able to understand that learning has no stopping space. Because of this program, throughout this period, we will be reaching out to you using all our various subjects to ensure that you learn something within this period. Bearing in mind that immediately after this crisis, you will be launching into writing your exams. We want you to come out with good grades, and therefore it is expected that you pay absolute attention. Your teachers will always be on air, pay attention, get down all your questions where you have gray areas and reach out to them based on your various subjects. Your teachers on air will give you their names, their telephone numbers that you can always reach out to them and ask the various questions that you need clarifications. So that subsequently, you will be able to get clarity on where you have problems. Kaduna State Government, under the able leadership of Malam Ahmed El Rufai, is doing everything possible to ensure that our students continue with their lessons no matter the circumstances. On this, I will request all of you and your parents, your guidance, your neighbors, your friends to pay attention to all the various segments that will be rolling out to you through these programs. Thank you very much and happy viewing. Hello viewers, you're welcome once again to the Kaduna State Radio Television e-learning where we teach you subjects that will aid you in passing your SSC examination. But before we commence to this lesson, I want to recap what we have done the previous week. If you recall, last week I spoke about sentences where I said we have sentence we can categorize sentences into two broad groups I listed one as functional sentences and the other as structural sentences now we have dealt with functional sentences all of them about four different types of them Today, we are going into what we call structural sentences. And we would like to begin with the definition of structural sentences. Now, from what we have here on the screen, we define, we define it as the arrangement of words in sentences. Here, we look at sentences by considering the constituent units that combine to form them. Therefore, according to structure, there are four types of sentences. We have the simple sentence, the compound sentence, the complex sentence, and the compound complex sentence. Now, these are the four different types of sentences we have according to structure, we will, not, we will now take a look at them one by one, beginning with the simple sentence. Now we have the simple sentence, which we said is a sentence consisting of, consisting or made up of a single clause and has a single subject and a predicate. It can also be looked at as a sentence consisting of an independent clause. An independent clause, unlike a dependent clause, can stand on its own and make sense. Examples of this kind of sentences include one, she sings, two, she sings well, three, Anne sang well yesterday, four, Auta is a doctor, Five, Laraba went to school. Six, 
Larba went to school yesterday. Seven. Rabbi ate the meat. Eight. James bought his father a house. Nine. Amina is beautiful. Ten. Abdul mowed the grass in the compound. Eleven. The woman with the red dress carrying a baby on her back crossed the road. Note, the sentences above are not different from the statutory sentences we studied a few days ago, except this time we are looking at these sentences vis-a-vis -vis the elements that combined to form them. Sentence one that we dealt it that we dealt with above has this structure. She sings. If you look at that sentence in number one, she is a pronoun standing in the place of her name. Therefore, she is the subject of the sentence, while sings is the verb. She sings well. She still remains the subject. Sings still remains a verb. Well, tells us the degree to which she sings, and therefore it is not an object. The verb there does not transfer its action, and therefore what we have as well is, ad is an adverb. S V A A. Anne sang well yesterday. Anne, a noun standing as subject. Sang, our verb. Well, adverb. Yesterday, adverb. SVC. Outer is a doctor. Outer is a doctor. Outer is our subject, so we mark it as S. Is is our verb. A doctor. It's a reflex. Is is a reflexive. Uh, Noun that goes, it's a complement of outer. SVO, subject, verb, object. Larba went to school. Larba went to school. Larba, our subject, went, our verb, school, our object. Except here, this is not the object of a verb. It is not a direct object of a verb, but the object of the preposition to. SVOA. Larba went to school yesterday. Larba, our subject, went, our verb, school, our object, yesterday, an adverb. So here we have the structure SVOA. SVO. Rabi ate the meat. Rabi ate the meat. Rabi, our subject, ate, our verb, the meat, object. Now, this object is the direct object of a verb. S-V-O-O. -O. James bought his father a house. James bought his father a a house. James, our subject, bought, our verb, his father, object, a house, object. Now, explanation here. The item that was gifted the father is the direct object. The recipient of what was bought, which is his father, is the indirect object. S V A. S V A. Amina is beautiful. Amina is beautiful. Amina, our subject, is our verb. Beautiful. Adjective qualifying the noun Amina. S V O A. Abdul mode. The grass in the compound. Abdul mowed 
the grass in the compound. Abdul, our subject, a noun. Mode, our verb. The grass, object, in the compound. Adverb, SVO. The woman with the red dress carrying a baby on her back crossed the road. The whole of the structure, beginning from the woman to back, that is the subject. Crossed is our verb, the road, object. So there is no difference between sentence number 11 and sentence number seven, structurally. Now, the compound sentence. A compound sentence is made up of two simple sentences linked or joined together by a coordinating conjunction. These simple sentences are equal in status and as such, a conjunction is required to make them one. This helps to limit repetitive use of the subject or object, object's name, or link two different sentences together. Now take a look at the sentences below. Esther came home late. Esther woke me up to let her in. Three. You will notice that both sentences A, sentence A and B have the same subject, Esther. Now since both sentences have the same subject, to avoid monotony, it is best the sentences are linked together as below to give us sentence number four. Esther came home late and woke me up to let her in. Esther came home late and woke me up to let her in. Here are some examples for you. Some more examples. I like coffee. Mary likes tea. When we combine these two together, we get the sentence, I like coffee and Mary likes tea. Number seven, Mary went to work, John went to the party, I went home. When we combine these three together, we get the sentence, Mary went to work, but John went to the party and I went home. Eight, our car broke down, we came last. Combining these two sentences together will yield, our car broke down, so we came last. If the conjunction is required to link clauses, independent clauses or simple sentences together, what is the conjunction itself? Conjunction. Now there are words used to connect or link clauses or sentences together. They are the glue that hold or bind sentences together and there are three kinds one coordinating conjunction two subordinating conjunction three correlative conjunction now let's take a look at what we know as the coordinating conjunction they connect words clauses of equal grammatical rank together they are but as, or, and, nor, yet, for. Here are some examples using them. One, I forgot to bring my book and pen. The conjunction there is and. Two, you may meet me at the club or at the church. The conjunction there is or. Three, we waited for him, but he did not come. The conjunction there is but. Four, neither the student nor 
their teacher is here. The two conjunctions there we have is neither and no. Subordinating conjunction. A subordinating conjunction joins a dependent or subordinate clause to an independent or main clause. The following are examples of subordinate conjunctions. Although, because, before, if, how, since, once, till, until, where, when, whenever, whether, while, no matter how, provided that, as soon as, even if, etc. Here are some examples as we use them in sentences. You will succeed provided you work hard. So your conjunction there, your subordinating conjunction is the, is the word provided. Number two, we were at the zoo where we saw a lion. Your conjunction there is where. Number three, we will help whenever you need it. Your subordinating conjunction there is whenever. Number four, all shops are closed because of the holiday. Your subordinating conjunction there is the word because. Number five, the weather is hot although it is raining. Your subordinating conjunction there is although. Correlative conjunction. Now these are words phrases or clauses having complementary relationships. They are either or, neither nor, whether or, both and, not only but, also. One, you may buy either peanuts or bean cake. We're using either or. Number two, Abubakar neither likes Tuo or Amala. Neither and or. Three, both the rich and the poor are mortal. Both and and. Four, he is interested not only in sports but in journalism as well. Not only, but. Five, you will find him either at home or in the office. Either and or. Next, assignment. Write at least five simple sentences of your own. Number two, use the following structures to construct at least two sentences each. SV, SVA, SVO, SVOA, and SVC. Three, turn the following simple sentences into compound sentences. Fatima washed her clothes. Fatima ironed them. The students were not present. Their teacher is not present. Esther swept the floor. Daniel does the dishes. He failed his exams. He did not read hard for the exams. Now when you do this assignment, my number is projected on the board. Call them for you so that you call me if there's any problem. 080-57-31-3044. I'll call it again. 080-57-31-3044. Thank you.